So we burnt um, a mark in, you can just barely see it there. Yep. And we measured that at nine inches. Um, and I practiced at nine inches. And by playing with a shorter bridge, I started to hit the ball more positively. It makes you pull the cue back shorter a distance mm -hmm. and you go through better. Okay, whenever we get one of the top players, we always ask them to give us a cue tip. What's yours going to be, Steve? Obviously, <coughs> you don't want to play a shot, so you're going to go more in depth, are yeah. you? A bit like the demos okay. we do. We have to do demos. It's a very well, strange... You do. Well, I, tend, I tend to swerve them. I'm, I'm, you should be, because you're playing a bit more. Um, yeah, so there's loads of, there's loads of things. You, as, as one tip, I was thinking, oh, what could it do? Like, obviously, keeping your head still and things like that. Yeah. But... I would say the one big thing that you see at amateur level is that a lot of amateurs have too long a bridge length. Right. And whilst, yes, they may be playing on slower tables where you probably do have to pull the cue back a bit far yeah. further to hit the ball, generally I feel that every player could probably improve just by reducing the length of the bridge from okay. the V to the tip. Right. So. At some stage, I worked this out with my father back in the day, and we actually burnt with a lighter a, a small mark on my cue. We didn't want to put yeah. a pencil mark on. Because Marco Fu did that. Yeah. He actually put a pencil on it. Well, putting a pencil mark on, I, at the time we thought, oh, people have noticed that, right. and they'll, yeah, so, sort of helping people out. So if you sort of half burn it into the cue, it looks like a, just a blemish. Right, okay. So we burnt um, a mark in. You can just barely see it there. Yep. It's so hard to see. You won't be able to see it because it's really subtle. But at one stage, it was stronger than that. But this, the cue's been sort of repaired and everything. How long have you had that cue then? Uh, since I was 15, 16. Wow. Yeah. And <clears throat> we put and we measured that at nine inches. Right. Um, and, and I practiced at nine inches. And what that did was, a <clears throat> yeah, obviously, if you've got the cue, if you've got the bridge halfway between the cue. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if it's half point, you know. An inch movement this end is, is an inch movement that end. Right. And obviously, you know, further down here, it's not so massive, but it can still make a difference. So we worked out that it was in your interests to make it shorter, that it could possibly stop you from moving the cue offline yeah. a bit. And also that it, if, you could, if you could train yourself to pull the cue back a shorter distance, as long as you weren't snatching, yeah. when you went forward, you had to go forward quicker to generate like Mark the speed. Allen, Mark Allen type. Yeah, so it made you, it trained your muscles up to accelerate faster. Yeah. Because I wasn't a fat, I wasn't a, a big hitter anyway. Yeah. And also it stopped you from going through lazily. It's the, the, old, the old deceleration yeah. as we call it. So I think certainly, whether it's deceleration or, or whatever it is, it's mm. certainly not attacking the ball. No. And by playing with a shorter bridge, I started to hit the ball more positively. It makes you pull the cue back shorter a distance mm -hmm. and you go through better. More accurately, so, yeah. And, and the surprising thing is, you pull it back shorter, you think you're not going to be able to play the power shots. As you train yourself up, you can, mm -hmm. you start hitting better. A bit like the best punchers at, 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 at boxing. They don't pull the cue, the, 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 I'm they sure don't Dark go like that. do throw the odd punch. Yeah, but, yes, they probably do. <laughs> but the slower, if you saw Eric Bristow back in the day, he used to pull the dart back all the way like that. Yeah. That's when he had the problems trying to get back to right, throw okay. it. But that, a shorter, yeah. a shorter distance is more positive. I think that's what, because when I, when I play, I think a long backswing feels great. When you're on your own and hit, the, the hit not, it just not feels good. But no, in a match, yeah, you've come back and it's, yeah, the, the D, and you just, yeah, you get there and it's, you've got to keep it on line yeah. and not decelerate and it's, yeah, it's, so what you've got to do is train yourself to have a shorter bridge on and even on shots where you think you need a longer one right the power shots so you've got to do it in practice and, to, and, and get the confidence of doing that but the only real way is to is to put a mark on okay and to have somebody make sure that you are actually finding that mark and you're not sort of cheating it by right. getting further back and that way you will encourage yourself to pull the cube at a shorter distance mm. go through better which more positively, and you'll be astonished by the results. You'll screw back do, better. Do you know, like when you're in like, would that not, you see that in your eye and it take your eye off the shot? Because you'll, you'll, you're seeing the mark, no? Well, I was a player that looked at the object ball when I played the shot, so I wasn't looking at the cue when I was going forward on the right, strike. Okay. If you're a player that looks at the white ball, 
could be a note but even so it's only a it's only a you get, pencil yeah, 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 you get, get used, used to it, it. Yeah. yeah yeah so that would be my tip for the club player uh who's got a bridge say like so there mm. that, that that distance i'm not sure what that distance is yeah put a pencil mark at one foot 12 12 inches old right. school 12 inches and you will fo- you will feel for a couple of days a week maybe if you practice regular enough that you haven't got enough room you're you're cramped up yeah but you will start to develop a better hit because of it. You may have to change the grip a little bit at mm. the back. You may have to go a bit further up, right. but only fractions really. Yeah. And, I, and I just think that that encourages a positive hit. Right. Amazing tip Yeah. from Steve Davis without even putting a ball. Oh yeah, well look, look. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, it doesn't work. Yeah, he's always edit that out.